Hello there YouTube. I am back today with some more diamond, pearl, platinum, heart gold, and soul silver Pokedex readings. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoy. And unlike last time, we're going to get right into it. Cricketot, the cricket Pokemon. It shakes its head back to front, causing its antenna to hit each other and sound like a xylophone. It chats with others using the sounds of its colliding antenna. These sounds are like fall hallmarks. Its legs are short. Whenever it stumbles, its stiff antenna clack like the xylophone-like sound. When its antenna hit each other, it sounds like the music of a xylophone. Number 402, Cricketoon, the cricket Pokemon. It crosses its knife-like arms in front of its chest when it cries. It can compose melodies ad-lib. It signals its emotions with its melodies. Scientists are studying these melodic patterns. There is a village that hosts a contest based on the amazingly variable cries of this Pokemon. By allowing its cry to resonate within the hollow of its body, it produces a captivating sound. Shinx, the Flash Pokemon. All of its fur dazzles a dangerous sense. It flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. Its forelegs have a muscle-based system of generating electricity. Its body shines if endangered. The extension and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when in trouble. Number 404, Luxio, the Spark Pokemon. Its claws loose electricity with enough amperage to cause fainting. They live in small groups. It rests its forelegs on others to communicate with rhythmic electric pulses from its claws. Strong electricity courses through the tips of its sharp claws. A light scratch causes fainting in foes. By gathering their tails together, they collectively generate powerful electricity from their claws. Number 405, Luxray, the Gleam Eyes Pokemon. It has eyes that can see through anything. It spots and captures prey hiding behind objects. When its eyes gleam gold, it can spot hiding prey, even those taking shelter behind a wall. It can see clearly through walls to track down prey and seek its lost young. Luxray's ability to see through objects comes in handy when it's scouting for danger. Number 406, Badu, the Bud Pokemon. Over the winter, it closes its bud and endures the cold. In spring, the bud opens and releases pollen. It lives alongside clear ponds. It scatters pollen that induces harsh sneezing and runny noses. Sensitive to changing temperature, the bud is said to bloom when it feels the sun's warm touch. When it feels the sun's warm touch, it opens its bud to release pollen. It lives alongside clear pools. Number 407, Roserade, the Bouquet Pokemon. It attracts prey with a sweet aroma, then downs it with thorny whips hidden in its arms. With the movements of a dancer, it strikes with whips that are densely lined with poison thorns. Each of its hands contains different toxins, but both hands can jab with near fatal power. Its sweet aroma attracts praise, then it spews poison. The more toxic it is, the sweeter its aroma. Number 408, Cranidos, the headbutt Pokemon. It lived in jungles around 100 million years ago. Its skull is as hard as iron. It was resurrected from an iron ball-like fossil. It downs prey with its headbutts. A lifelong jungle dweller from 100 million years ago, it would snap obstructing trees with headbutts. Cranidos toughen up their already rock-like heads by headbutting one another. Number 409, 
Rampardos, the headbutt Pokemon. Its powerful headbutt has enough power to shatter even the most durable things upon impact. Its skull is as hard as iron. It is a brute that tears down jungle trees while catching prey. If two were to smash their heads together, their foot-thick skulls would keep them from fainting. Its skull withstands impacts of any magnitude. As a result, its brain never gets the chance to grow. Number 410, Shieldon, the Shield Pokemon. A Pokemon that lived in jungles around 100 million years ago, its facial hide is extremely hard. It habitually polishes its face by rubbing it against tree trunks. It is weak to attacks from behind. It is outstandingly armored. As a result, it can eat grass and berries without having to fight. It was generated from a fossil dug out of a layer of clay that was older than anyone knows. It has a sturdy face. Number 411, Bastiodon, the shield Pokemon. Any frontal attack is repulsed. It is a docile Pokemon that feeds on grass and berries. When attacked, they form a wall with their shield-like faces to protect their young. When they lined up side by side, no foe could break through. They shielded their young in that way. When attacked, they form a wall. Their rock-hard faces serve to protect them from the attacks. Number 412, Burmy, the Bagworm Pokemon. To shelter itself from cold, wintry winds, it covers itself with a cloak made of twigs and leaves. If its cloak is broken in battle, it quickly remakes the cloak with materials nearby. Even if it is born where there are no cocooning materials, it somehow always ends up with a cloak. It covers itself with a cloak to shelter from cold, and when it's hot, the cloak is thinner. Worm Adam, the Bagworm Pokemon. When Burmy evolved, its cloak became part of this Pokemon's body. This cloak is never shed. Its appearance changes depending on where it evolved. The materials on hand become a part of its body. When evolving, its body takes on surrounding materials. As a result, there are many body variations. It is said that a worm madam that evolves on a cold day will have a thicker cloak. Number 414, Motham the moth Pokemon. It loves the honey of flowers and steals the honey collected by combies. It does not keep a nest. It flies over fields and mountains in constant search of floral honey. While it loves floral honey, it won't gather any itself. Instead, it plots to steal some from combi. It flutters around at night and steals honey from combi hives. Number 415, Combi, the tiny bee Pokemon. A Pokemon formed by three others, it busily carries sweet floral honey to Vespaquin. It collects and delivers honey to its colony. At night, they cluster to form a beehive and sleep. The trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers honey from flowers to please Vespaquin. At night, Combi sleep in a group of about a thousand, packed closely together in a lump. Number 416, Vespaquin, the Beehive Pokemon. Its abdomen is a honeycomb for grubs. It raises grubs on honey collected by Combi. When endangered, the grubs from its six cell honeycomb strike back. There is only one in a colony. It releases various pheromones to make the grubs in its body do its bidding while fighting foes. It raises grubs in the holes in its body. It secretes pheromones to control combi. Number 417, 